General Flynn is free. Shelley Luther is free. Six Nine is free. And in the immortal words of Meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad. And some of y'all don't like it the way that I now spit like MC2 dolls on a holier than thou kick. Smack your face for your blasphemous ways and everybody be quote me like the latest catchphrase. I'm on a mission that goes beyond material. So eat this killer series, serial killer serial. Killer killer for real, drop out a beer with a sound you can feel like cold hard steel. That swarm like the blood flows out of your head. Cause I rock non-stop till I bomb a deathbed. I knock a swap out a catalytic converter with a few hand tools, but I can never be murdered. Spit the rapid fire like a round of shells. I got the lyrical skills that says the devil to hell. So don't disrespect what you can't understand. Cause I can still squash your brain in the palm of my hand. Stupid. Another horse came out. man. He is a uh, great gentleman. He was targeted by the Obama administration, and he was targeted in order to try and take down a president. And what they've done is a disgrace, and I hope a big price is going to be paid, because they're dishonest, crooked people. They're scum, and I say it a lot. They're scum. They're human scum. This should never have happened in this country. What's good, my people? It's your boy, Too Tall in the Building. Okay, so what you heard was our duly elected President Donald J. Trump uh, giving his commentary uh, when asked about Michael Flynn in an interview and uh, how these people in our highest form of law enforcement uh, dealt with the situation regarding Michael Flynn. And uh, he referred to uh, these top brass or these former top brass in the FBI as human scum. And people like Adam Schiff, I'm assuming he's talking about also when he uses the term human scum. And if he's not, he ought to be, because nothing says human scum like Adam Schiff. Here you have a decorated war veteran, 30 years of service, three-star general, and he gets treated like a piece of garbage, like a two-bit criminal, thrown in the slammer for no good reason. And uh, this was all to get a duly elected president. They found nothing. They're never going to find anything. The only thing they will find is the opposing party trying to pin something on a duly elected president of the United States. And it goes all the way to the top. It goes all the way up to Obama and Biden, or, or as um, our leading Democrat candidate would say, oh, Biden Obama. And he loves taking credit for everything Barack Obama did. Well, maybe he should take some blame, too. Maybe he should. Tack that onto his creepiness. Tack that on to the uh, Tara Reid stuff. Tack that on to his compulsive lying about his education and his ripping off of other politicians' speeches and claiming it's his own. And then last minute when caught saying he's just paraphrasing. Adam Schiff is real good at paraphrasing too, isn't he? Oh no, he's just blatantly lying and saying it's a paraphrase. You gotta watch out for that Adam Schiff, boy. You gotta watch out for that Adam Schiff. Not only does he belong out of his seat in Congress, 
he belongs in jail, along with this demon and this demon. They're all demons, and they belong in jail. Then you have this overlord, this Judge Eric Moyer, trying to throw a Dallas salon owner in jail because she wants to cut hair. This is her heinous crime that she's being thrown in the slammer for. Luckily, Dallas Supreme Court stepped in and overturned that and released her. And not only did they release her, first day back on the job, one of her first customers is Senator Ted Cruz. He stepped in there to support uh, this woman. Her name is... Um, Shelly Luther, by the way. And uh, he stepped in there to support and get a long overdue haircut. Congratulations to Senator Cruz for that one. And what went by the boards, what went totally under the radar, 6 9. 6 9 got released April 2nd. Day after April Fool's Day. Uh -huh. So a lot of people thought it was an April Fool's joke when it did get released. But the release of that news was true. 6 9 was released April 2nd of this year. And recently he put out a new song. And he's got like over 2 million views. He actually superseded his interview with The Breakfast Club. Real interesting stuff there. And uh, this is a person that um, got thrown in jail for weapons and racketeering charges. Um, he was supposedly part of the uh, Tray 9 Gangsters or Tray 9 Bloods. And he supposedly fingered everybody that he was supposedly down with. And he got released amid this coronavirus crisis because uh, they say he's got chronic asthma and he would be very susceptible to catching the coronavirus and possibly dying in jail. So he got released from jail much earlier than uh, the original sentence suggested that he uh, stay in jail. And so he's out. He's got a new single. Millions of views on YouTube for his music video. And there you have it. There's your news. Okay, so you know what I'm going to tell you. Respect God. Watch out for the Illuminati. Listen to my music. Follow my ways. Stay strong. Keep kicking that slang. And we got some cool merch available too. Why don't you pick up some? All right.